GP versus LP. Which one should you be? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Invest, Buy, and Sell with Jael. And today we are on part three of my multifamily journey, apartment syndications. So we're going to be talking about the difference between general partners versus limited partners. In the previous video, we spoke about the syndication and how it's broken up. There are two sides to the syndication. And when you start your multifamily journey, you're going to want to know exactly where you want to get started. So you'll have a better idea of how you can do so. So the general partners are responsible for finding the asset, managing the asset, day-to-day -day operations, and creating a sound business plan. With multifamily apartment syndications, we're usually going to be holding this asset from anywhere between two to five years. And within that time frame, we're responsible for increasing the property's value and lowering the expenses if we can. That's how we're gonna make sure that we're able to pay back our limited partners. Limited partners are passive investors. They're literally just bringing their funds and capital to the deal and getting monthly reports, quarterly reports, and annual reports about the property's performance and what the general partners are doing to make it increase its value and make it make more money. So our limited partners are very important because they are the backbone to the deal, but they aren't responsible for any of the things that the general partners face day to day. Limited partners get all of the benefits, but can sleep at night and not have to worry about what's going on every single day at the property. They also receive payouts quarterly and within the time frame of the hold and they receive a massive lump sum when the property is sold whether that be in two three four or five years so i hope this gives you some clarity of which side you want to be on general partners are responsible for finding managing in the day-to-day -day operations of the asset increasing its value making sure the property management company is doing what it's supposed to do, making sure the business plan is being executed on time, whereas the limited partners are going to bring their money to the deal and get updates on what's going on and receive their payouts every single quarter and get a huge lump sum when that asset is either refinanced or sold. If you have any questions about limited partners versus general partners, Drop them in the comments below so I can make sure that I answer your questions specifically. I hope this video gives you more clarity on which side you want to be on getting started. There's nothing wrong with doing both. I aspire to do both sides because both sides are super important in getting the asset acquired as well as renovated, increased in value, and then resold. Make sure you leave a comment below to let me know what you think about limited partner versus general partner. Also, let me know where you would like to get started when you do start investing in multifamily syndications. If you're already investing in syndications, shed some light down below for the people about if you're a general partner or a limited partner and why you chose to do so. I'll see you guys in the next video.